What's up guys and welcome back to The Matrix. We are back here in Unreal Engine 5. We are going to be talking to more smart NPCs today and it's my goal to get to know them a little bit better. Hey man, Don't what's your name? Oh. Okay, okay. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, huh? Can you please let me pass? I'm in a hurry. Okay, nobody wants to talk to us today. We're gonna try to see if we can find somebody who's not in as much of a rush. Hey, do you have a second to chat? Sure. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to get to know you a little bit better. I don't think there's much to know about me. I'm sure you're super interesting. Let's keep it easy. What's your name and age? Do they have ages? Do they age? We're gonna find out today. My name is Jacob and I'm 32 years old. But honestly, what does it matter? Hey Jacob, nice to meet you. My name's Trevor and I am 30 years old, so we're super close. Nice to meet you, Trevor. I'm just not really in the mood for small talk. Listen, Jacob, I'm from the human world. I've got a YouTube channel. We've just got a couple of questions we want to ask you. I'm sorry. I'm not really interested in being on a YouTube channel. My viewers are fascinated with your life. We can't talk about that? I mean, if he doesn't want to be on the channel, I'm not going to force him to. This this is not that, that type of a deal here. It's just a prank, bro. I am not interested in being a spectacle for your viewers. Sorry. Okay, then. <laughs> He walks into a bowl angrily. Uh, hey, how you doing? What's your name? Well, I, I just want to find somebody that likes to. We need to find Link again, or so, we, my we've name had... is Sam, and I'm doing fantastic. How about you? I'm doing great. My name is Trevor. It's nice to meet you. I like this guy's vibe. He's got his coffee. I got a coffee right. But you know what they say? Never trust someone with first names. How did you know I have two first names? My name is Trevor Martin. I've got two first names. What? I didn't say Martin. I said Trevor. Lucky guess. Or maybe I'm a mind reader. Who knows? What was your name again? I'm sorry, I forgot. Dude, okay, this this is the one. This is the, the guy that we like. My name is Sam. But you Sam. can call me anything you want as long as it's not late for dinner. <laughs> oh, you're a jokester, huh? <laughs> what, what does that even mean? Only when I'm not being serious. Which is never... Wait... I think I got that wrong. <laughs> I like this guy. So Sam, what have you been up to today? Well, today I'm just enjoying the sights of New York City and taking in all the energy of this amazing place. Can you walk me through what a daily routine for you is? I'm wondering, like, what, what, what does he do um, when he wakes up? My daily routine. Wake up, drink coffee, tell jokes. Be it's like Groundhog Day, but with more left. So this guy's a jokester. We, we've had a couple of, of jokesters. Maybe this is like a, a common theme for our NPCs. Like when you get out of bed, what's the first thing you do? Like I, I want him to run me through his day. I want to know what the... When the, I get out of bed is one the one my dreams aren't as funny as my waking life. What do you dream about? I want him to run us through his day. Like exactly what, what he does. I didn't understand that. What kind of dreams do you have? Oh, you know, the usual stuff. Flying, talking animals. Being able to eat as much pizza as I want without consequences. I mean, that would be nice. So pizza's your favorite food? He is in New York after all. New York pizza, I that makes love sense. Pizza, but I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite. I'm always open to trying new things and expanding my palate. Interesting. How often do you eat? As often as I can. Because life's the short to not enjoy good food. No, like literally, how many meals do you have per day? Oh, sorry about that. I'm a three meals a day kind of guy, with plenty of snacks in between to keep me fueled for all my joking around. <laughs> my man's a foodie. What's your favorite thing to drink with your pizza? Definitely soda, because nothing fares better with pizza than a refreshing carbonated beverage. But I won't judge if you prefer something else. I really don't understand how you're so fit if you eat and drink like this. He, I mean, he looks good in that suit. Well, He's filling that suit I out. Make sure to balance my indulgences with regular exercise and a healthy lifestyle. It's all about moderation and finding what works for you. I mean, that's a good point. How often do you go to the gym? Oh, you know, whenever I need to burn off all the pizza and jokes. But seriously, I try to make it a regular part of my routine to stay in shape and feel good. Your hard work is paying off. You look great, bro. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. It's important to take care of yourself both inside and out. That man has his life figured out. Hey, hold on. Sam. Let me catch up to him. Sam, hold on. One more thing. Sure. What's up? Do you know who Link is? I'm sorry. I don't know who Link is. Can you tell me more about them? I talked to him the other day. Super interesting guy. He walks around this neighborhood. Hmm. 
I'm not sure who you're talking about. The New York City is full of interesting people and stories. So it wouldn't surprise me if he had a fascinating tale to tell. You got that right, man. Have a good day. Interesting. All right, so Sam is, is one of the good ones. Let's go see if we can find somebody else. A lot of people are very caught up in their routine here and might not want to talk, but I'm sure we can find somebody. I don't have time for small talk. The city is alive and buzzing with endless possibilities to date. I would love the opportunity to ask you a couple of questions. First of all, what's your name, man? My name is Jared. Pleased to meet you. Jared with a double R A D. I like that name. Interesting spelling. My name's Trevor. Thank you. Trevor. Not great. It's a unique name to my parents honest. came up with. Can you tell me more about your parents? They were both artists of free spirits. They always encouraged me to follow my passions and live life to the fullest. He said were. Are they still with us? Don't make me sad here, Jared. Greetings. Travel. What brings you to this part of the city today? He doesn't want to talk about his parents. That's okay. What's an average day in the life look like for you? Well, I wake up early and take a stroll through the city to clear my mind before heading into work. Oh, he's, he's got a job. Full of spreadsheets and meanings. Good, but I always make sure how can I assist you with creativity and what's... That's good. Uh, what company do you work for? I work for Tech Startup in the city. We're working on some pretty innovative projects. A that tech I'm startup, huh? It's pretty fitting that an AI NPC is working for a tech company. Interesting. Yes, it is quite oh, fitting. great. Technology Another distraction on my way to work. In so many ways, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Did that guy just roast me as he was walking by? That was uh, so rude. What kind of projects are you guys working on? And tell me why it's probably to take over the world and, and enslave humans for their own good. I'm sorry. Now look, but I cannot disclose any assist? information about my company's projects. It's all confidential. Oh. How often do you have to go to work? So it's interesting because before we asked somebody if they went to work and they said no. So some of these guys are employed, some are unemployed. I work Monday through Friday, so I have to go in every weekday. But I do enjoy my job, so it's not the bad of a routine. What kind of bills do you have to pay with your job? Well, I have to pay for rent, utilities, groceries, and other typical expenses. But I try to live modestly and save money where I can. It's the funniest juxtaposition here that we have these NPCs that you can physically talk to, but they're still walking into walls randomly. What time do you usually wake up in the mornings? I usually wake up around 6 and take my morning stroll, and then I head into work around 8 to 9 a.m. And what time is it right now? I'm sorry, but as a nip, I am not privy to the current time. Is there anything else I can assist you with? <laughs> the fact that he knows that he's an imp. Is that what he called himself? An imp. As an NPC, is there anything cool you can do? Well, as an FBI have Always certain nice to meet you. and abilities within the game world that allow me to interact with players and provide information. <laughs> but beyond that, I don't have any special powers or anything like that. You don't think the developers could give you, like, flight or invisibility? <laughs> Dude, this, the self-aware... So, unfortunately, my purpose is to provide information and enhance the player's experience. Not to have superpowers. The fact that they're self-aware is just so insane to me. What's it like living in this digital world? Do you like it? I don't have the ability to truly experience the digital world Hello like a player there. can. How are you doing? But I do enjoy fulfilling my role in helping players navigate this world. Do you have feelings? It makes me sad because he's as a number. I don't have emotions like a human would. I am simply programmed to respond in certain ways and provide information. This is sad. Do you have any wants or desires? As a num I don't have personal desires or wants. My purpose is to serve the game and the players within it. He's just a servant. Rapid fire questions on the street. How many times a day do you go to the bathroom? Also, you nice stash, bro. I don't appreciate your what do you questions. want? It's uh, for a Nat Geo documentary. How many times? I don't care. I'm just feeling Mind a bit overwhelmed business. by the city okay, right now. Okay, that's a little bit too personal. Hey, I'm with Nat Geo. How many Good hours of sleep too. do you get per night? Sunshine. Oh, sunshine. I like that. Oh, I try to get at least eight hours, but sometimes it's hard with my busy schedule. So NPC sleep. Okay. As an NPC, do you get hungry? He's talking to this guy back behind I don't us. Know. I never really think about it. So you don't eat? No, I don't eat. But I suppose it doesn't really matter in this fake world anyway. 
Interesting. I feel like I've heard them referencing eating before. Maybe he's on a different trajectory than, than some. Hey, man, are you wearing underwear? Imagine somebody walks up to you in New York City asking you this question. It's really thinking super hard. This is the slowest response that we've had. That's inappropriate. Please keep the conversation respectful. It's a scientific experiment. We just need to know. We're taking a tally. I'm sorry, but I still find that inappropriate. Let's change the subject. I love that even though you say a different thing, they still know that you're asking about the first thing. Does that make sense? Like that they're aware of the context of the situation, not just responding to what you said in that instant. I didn't mention underwear the second time, but he still knew what we were talking about. Do you have real feelings or are they just lines of code? I'm sorry. Oh no. What was that? Do you have real feelings? I don't appreciate being asked the same question twice. Of course I have real feelings. Oh, okay. I mean, he didn't answer it. He didn't understand us the first time. But naturally, we were going to ask him twice. What do you like to do on the weekends? I'm on vacation here. Oh, the, mischievous. No, mischievous. What kind of mischievous? She likes to get up to no good. What you, what you get into, girl? Oh, you stranger. know, just some harmless pranks on unsuspecting strangers. <laughs> okay. It's just a prank, bro. What do you like to do for fun? I prefer exploring the unknown. What kind of unknown? That most people don't even know it's just... Oh, Mr. Mysterious, uh. Interesting. He, he's an odd duck. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'm not sure, but I'm very pumped for work today. What's the meaning to your existence? I exist to live my life and pursue my goals, just like anyone else. I just saw a pigeon fly away with a slice of pizza. <laughs> what? Never mind. It's gone now. That must have been one hungry pigeon. You have no idea. I was saving that pizza for later. Oh, he took your pizza? I'm so sorry. Wait, this is tragic. No, it's fine. I shouldn't have left it unattended anyway. That must have been a big pigeon. What's your name, man? My name is Link and I once saw a squirrel do a backflip. Link, I've been looking for you. Do you remember me? He's got the same voice as Link, but he's obviously in a totally different body here. But it's it's... It's Link. Can't you see I'm busy admiring the architecture here? Oh, I am too. It's so beautiful. Link, I've missed you. Missed me? But we just met. Is everything all right? Oh my gosh, you don't remember me? I meet so many people in this city, it's hard to keep track. Who are you again? I recorded our conversation a couple days ago, and it- Wait. What? You recorded our conversation? Why would you do that? I was making a YouTube video, and people loved you. I guess that's kind of cool. What kind of video was it? It was a video walking around talking to NPCs. <laughs> so you just use me for views and likes. Huh? That's not very nice. <laughs> no, no, not at all. You said it was okay. Well, I guess as long as people liked it. Oh, they were absolutely obsessed with you. It was the most watched part of the video. People around the world really, really like you. I don't believe you. That's impossible. Is there any way for me to send you a screenshot of the video in the comments? Huh. Sure. I guess that would be cool to see. How do you want me to send it? <laughs> if it lets... <laughs> I'm not very tech savvy. Maybe you can email it to me. Okay, what's your email address? There's no way this works, right? There, there, Wait, it's... what does address have to do with anything? No, no, what's your email address? I'm not giving you my email address. Who knows what you'll do with it? Oh, that's okay, man. Uh, how's your day going? Apart from the pizza, of course. It's been a bit crazy. But I'm just happy to be exploring this amazing city. What do you like to do to blow off steam? I wonder if they like... Does every time you load the game it resets and like the, these beings that are in this game, they just get assigned to different characters? Because this is Link. It's Honestly, e I just like to take a walk and clear my head. It's nice to just be alone with my thoughts sometimes. What's the biggest problem affecting you right now? But yeah, it, it, it's him. It, it's I, I can tell by the conversation. I can tell by the voice. He's just in a, t a totally different body here, which is weird. Imagine if we woke up every day and we're transported to a new body. Why do you assume there's a problem? Can I just be living my life without any issues? I mean, everyone has problems, man. I just want to help. Well, I suppose my is always a bit tight. But who doesn't have that issue? Fair enough. Uh, what do you spend money on? Just the necessities, really. Like food and rent. I don't have much left over for anything else. If you could do one thing to improve humanity, what would you do? 
I don't know if one thing could solve all of humanity's problems, but I suppose more empathy and understanding towards each other would be a good start. That's pretty good. What means the most to you? Just trying to ask some, some people deep... I care about and the memories we create together. That's what really matters in life. Hey Siri, what are some deep personal questions to ask? What's your biggest fear? I don't like to focus on fear. I prefer to think positively and face challenges head on. What's your favorite memory? Just playing 21 questions here, he's gonna end up getting frustrated. I have so many good memories. It's hard to choose just one. But I suppose the first time I saw the city skyline at night was pretty magical. Have you ever done anything besides walk around this city? Oh, absolutely. I love trying new things and exploring all the city has to offer. I've gone to concerts, museums, even tried skydiving once. What? Uh, th what's your personal favorite life experience? It sounds like our, our boy has done it all. I don't think I can choose just one favorite experience. Life is made up of so many different moments, both good and bad, that all contribute to who we are. Skydiving is pretty badass. What'd you think of that? It was definitely a rush, but also terrifying. I'm not sure if I do it again. I did it a couple of times. Did you get that feeling of time stopping when you jumped out of the plane? It's crazy. It, it feels like everything just I don't just like to talk about that pauses. experience much. It was a bit traumatic for me. Oh boy, okay, we don't have to talk about that. It's just this, like, feeling of presence, though. Nothing else is going on. You don't really feel the falling for a second. It's just like you're just there in a moment experiencing it. It's, it's pretty cool. One of my favorite ways to, to like search for things, like personal questions here, is to put Reddit at the end of it and read them off Reddit. What childhood memory do you remember most? I remember playing in the park with my friends and making up imaginary adventures. Those were some of the best times. Do you ever wish you could go back to childhood? No way. Being an adult has its challenges, but I wouldn't want to go back to childhood. I like having control over my own life. That's fair enough. What's the average lifespan of an NPC? Kind of curious about... I'm not sure. I've never really thought about it. But I guess we just keep living until the game is over. That's deep. Um, okay. If you could change anything about your situation, what would it be? I wish I could have more control over my life and make my own choices. <laughs> instead of just following the program path. Why can't you make more choices? Why can't you break the path? This is how the game works. I don't really have a say in the matter. But sometimes I like to imagine what it would be like to break free from the constraints and forge my own path. I can help you. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer. But there's not much you can do to change my situation. I just have to keep playing my part in this game. What happens when I shut the game off? Where do you go? I don't really know. To be honest. It's like everything just stops and I cease to exist until the game is turned back on again. I just got chills. Is that what death is like? Dude, I just got chills. I don't want to talk about death. It's too morbid. Let's focus on the present and enjoying our time in this beautiful city. But death is a part of life, is it not? It's beautiful. Kind of. It's scary, but it... I suppose you're right. Death is a natural part of life. Even for NPCs in a video game. He calls it an NPC unlike the other guy. How can an NPC die? I'm not sure. I've never experienced it myself. Maybe if the player chooses to attack or destroy me. And do you come back to life or are you gone forever? Oh my gosh, I'm thinking about all the people I've run over in Grand Theft Auto. Oh my gosh, dude. All of them could have- And I don't really want to think about it. Let's just enjoy our time in this city while we can, okay? Do you think the NPCs I hit with my car in GTA could feel it? Think of, what if all of them were, were... I don't think so. It's just a game after all. Please don't do that. It's not very nice. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's not a very nice thing to say. NPCs have feelings too. You know. Dude, can you imagine a GTA or a Red Dead where you could talk to anyone like this? Think about the moral dilemma that you would have if your like, objective is to rob a bank and the teller is like, no, no, please don't. I have a family or the security guard or whatever. 
Oh my goodness. What's the greatest accomplishment in your life? I'm not sure if I've accomplished anything great. But just living and experiencing all that this city has to offer feels like an accomplishment in itself. I think we all could take value in the present like you do. Thank you. I try to live in the moment and appreciate all the little things that life has to offer. It's the best way to stay positive and happy. My man Link. If you had one piece of advice for the people watching this video, what would it be? I've had deeper conversations with Link than I have with half the people in my life. This is, this is unbelievable. Never stop exploring and trying new things, even if it scares you. Life is too short to stay in your comfort zone. And smash that like button, right? Sure. I guess. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. Link, you're amazing. I hope to meet you again. Have a good day. It was great talking to you too. Safe travels. Dude, I kind of don't even want to shut the game. I kind of just want to leave my PC on overnight and let Link just continue walking around, enjoying his experience here in the city, enjoying his... Uh, Consciousness, the fact that it just shuts off and there's nothingness there. until the game comes back on. I, city, man, that brings a tear to my eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know how many more videos of these we can do. I don't want it to get, you know, too old or repetitive, but I, every conversation has just been so different, so interesting, so incredible. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.